Okay, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to make a jigger for a bar, which is essentially a measuring device for bartenders. So go to sketch, select the front plane, select a line. So what we'll do is we'll line this up with the origin, we'll hold the click, we'll drag it down, we'll keep it snapped into place, hit escape, select the line, hold control, select the origin, click midpoint, escape, smart dimension, we'll give this one sixteenth of an inch, we're in inches, hit escape, so we're going to draw a couple of lines. We're going to go out, click it, up here click again escape, same thing here. So the top part here is going to represent the cross section of the jigger and the bottom part here will represent the cross section of the pony. We're going to smart dimension this. 5 sixteenths, hit escape, select this, control, select, select this, hit equals, okay, click F, that will do a zoom to fit, smart dimension, we're using the origin as the reference point, vertically, 1.5, vertically the pony will be one now horizontally the jigger will be 2.125 sorry 1.125 and the pony will be one. So what I like to do, just to simplify this for the tutorial, I'm going to delete all these dimensions, hold control, and hit delete. We won't move anything. It's just for simplification. You don't have to do this. Now we're going to delete all of these relationships hold control, hit delete, we're going to select these without moving them, hold control, click on fix. So now these are all fully defined, you can't drag it around and it's very clear, very simple. Um, okay, we also have to fix this this point and, and this too because it's an end point so now what we'll do we'll draw two circles out in space hold it down until you've got it approximately where you want it I messed up on that I'll do it again hit escape let's zoom into the pony side first we'll select the center line We'll draw an arbitrary line, hit escape, select this and this with control, hit perpendicular. Now we're going to place this on the end of this for reference. We're going to give this a sixteenth. Now we're going to make this tangent. Okay, so hold control, select the diameter of the bottom circle, and then the top, now hit equals. We'll do the same thing up here. Perpendicular. 
hold control tangent now we're going to draw two lines they can be pretty arbitrary we don't want it to snap yet so it's going to be parallel also going to be horizontal to the origin. Okay, so smart dimension it will be 1 32nd now we're going to oops, control Z We can snap it into place. And do the same up here. We're going to go ahead and trim. Now we're going to delete all the dimensions. only two and all of the relations that are not fixed so hold control we'll delete the center lines for construction as well So the blue lines are undefined, uh, underdefined, I'm sorry. So hold control, select all of the blue lines, and click on fix. Anything that's blue means it's underdefined. Okay, so this all looks good. We're going to give this a radius here and here, a, a fillet, I should say. By default, it's Point one inches we'll go to point two five it looks good we now need to draw a center line actually I don't know if we do let's try just rotating it so features Okay, so we don't, it uses the vertical line we already drew. Click OK. We're going to change the material to, it's going to be stainless steel, three, 304 stainless steel. Control 7, now we have a good isometric view. And that's it, this is our jigger. Thanks for watching.